I have read with interest the situation involving the death of 2020 Molar grad Michael Curran and the Dayton police investigation, and I believe it raises a lot of questions. the American Jury and Bulldog Nation. I have been paying attention to the sad death of Michael Curran, a 2020 Molar High School grad who died Monday after suffering a traumatic, traumatic head injury early Sunday morning in Dayton. It was about 3.30 a.m. He was found on the 3100 block of Wayne Avenue with critical injuries. Uh, he apparently left to pick up a food order uh, the cause of his injuries have not been confirmed. Uh, this is off campus. State and police are asking for inf information. And I'm just, this is puzzling to me that there's no information. And as we all know, there's security cameras everywhere. There's always a camera picking up something. And um, it's just so sad. I, I want to first say, I don't know the family. So nothing but sympathy uh, for, for the family. I mean, good golly, can't fathom getting that phone call. But I think we all need to uh, stay on the media and stay on the Dayton police and find out what happened here. Because obviously, let, come on, let's, let's call it the way it is. Somebody did this to him. It's not self-inflicted. Somebody did something. And what is it? Why can't they leave details? Was he hit with an object? Was, it, was he beat up? Was he punched? You know, come on. And call me a cynic. Call me a cynic. If this is a black on white crime, are they going to hush it up because they don't want that out there? That's what we've come today. Sorry. That's the way we've all come to think, isn't it? Because it just seems like they're not telling us everything they know. I mean, come on. Traumatic head injury? From what? From what? Was he shot? Was he bludgeoned? How come they're not telling us that? It's weird. And I'm suspicious. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Hope you have a great day.